Okay, here's a demo of my new version of the 3D printed Foki robot. Now I have done uh, almost seven years ago. Let's zoom up to the computer up here for a moment. I'll put a link to this in the description box down below because you probably should start with that. But seven years ago I did a 3D printed version of the walking Foki robot with light up eyes that ran on a single AA battery and uh, used um, the guts out of solar night lights from the dollar store to boost the one and a half volts up to high enough voltage to light the LEDs. And the motor that was used in this particular build almost seven years ago is extremely difficult to find these days. So I decided to do a new build using uh, the N20 motor, gear motor, which is more common right now and favored among people. Uh, the, the N20 motor originally just had a shaft out the end, but now they sell them with right angle shafts and dual shafts. And you can get a 3 volt version that runs at 30 RPM, and that's what I put in here. So this robot then runs on two AAA batteries, so we don't need a voltage boost circuit for the LED eyes. Walks the same as the other one, more or less, but I added uh, moving arms as well. I made some improvements to the walking action, but I'm going to cover all of that in a build video for this. I've ordered uh, some more of the N20 motors, and when they arrive, then I'll do the build video and uh, have the files up on Thingiverse for this new version. But here's a basic demo of it. As you can see, it's got the pin walking action. It's got the moving arms. You got the, uh, the lid eyes. You can see the pins coming and going there. It's a good walker. It's got the good moving arms. Um, quite a few other improvements in this versus the original one. One, the, the body halves can be screwed together so they won't separate the moving arms the improved uh, walking of the feet, but the ears are completely uh, 3D printable now. Before, I 3D printed a disc which I then heated in thermal form to make the ears. Uh, the metal grate in the original one, which is hard to find, is now a, a 3D printable part, so you don't have to that. In other words, it's, it's easier to make. Everything is 3D printed. You only have to come up with a few screws for hardware, the motor, the battery box, an on-off switch and a couple of LEDs with a current limiting resistor. But uh, build video will be coming as soon as more N20 right-angle dual shaft motors arrive.